What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I got a package from Konami, and that means we finally got our Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage Box to open up for you guys. So yeah, big thank you to Konami for sending me one of these. Uh, again, I know I'm a little bit behind, I know some people got this early, and it's kind of sneak preview happened for some people, but it didn't happen where I live because of the, the whole uh, pandemic stuff going on still. But I'm glad we finally got this, it makes this week so much better, because I, I don't know when the election's ever going to end, so at least... I can open up some cool Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That makes me feel better, right? A little less stressed right now. So, yeah, let's hope we have some really good luck with this. Because, of course, you get... Uh, there's new Raid Raptors, new uh, Phantom Knights in this. I mean, there's a lot of really cool support. This is a set I've been waiting on for a pretty good while. Ever since it was announced for Japan, I was like, I want that. So, let's see what we can get. Also, the Tri Brigade. That's like a new archetype that is... Uh, <laughs> Not cheap at all. <laughs> and there's some other things. So I think even the new Arma tile is in this, which is Sacred Beast Fusion. So there's a lot of cool things. Even a little bit more support for my knights. They get a, another Synchro, I believe. It's like a common or... Yeah, I guess it's common because there's no rares now. So, yeah. Also, if you guys want to help out my channel, be sure to check out my link with TCG Player. I'll have it where it'll take you to this set so you can look at some of the prices on this set. But basically, if you uh, click on that link or use the code CyberNight, buy anything from TCG Player, it helps support my channel. It doesn't cost anything extra for you. And if you're buying stuff anyway, and I know Black Friday is coming up, it really helps out because it gives uh, it like gives me like a percentage or whatever. And uh, it helps support the channel. I can put more into the channel. So uh, check that out. You know, that really does help. It didn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And of course, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. All those things help the algorithm and are all free as well. I really appreciate all that. Anyway, let's get to it. Still weird that there's not any rares. Like, I still look for that. <laughs> let's see, starting off, we got the Gizmek, though. Makami the Ferocious Fanged Fortress. It's like a wolf, basically, I think. Tri Brigade, one of the cards. But yeah, the mutants are in this, too, that's right. That uh, mutant archetype. I think it's the world premiere archetype. It looks interesting. I'm not even sure what I plan on building from this set. Oh, yeah, UAs. They got new support, by the way. And already a secret rare. Dang, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I just suck it back in. Let's get a secret rare. I think this is a good one, too, but I hadn't really looked up all the prices before I did this opening. I'll be honest. I was just mainly excited to open it. So, yeah. Uh, we have Tri Brigade uh, Shereng the Omnis Omen. I think that's how you say that. I hope so. That is really cool. I think this is a good one to get, too, because, again, Tri Brigade are uh, really expensive last time I checked before, or, you know, when they were in Japan, I should say, because, again, I hadn't seen the the English ones, the prices on those. Uh, let me get a sleeve. I have some sleeves right here. Ah, there's a mess. I need to organize this better. But I feel like I should sleeve this one up, being our secret rare, or one of our secret rares. There we go. Not bad at all. I'd really like to build Phantom Knights if I can get everything, but I think they're expensive. I think they have a lot of secret rares. Another UA card. Have Mutant Mist. Uh, Jack in the Hand. Isn't that the one? Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a pot of duality sort of thing uh, for level 1 monsters. It's not actually a Ghost Street card. I guess it can be used with them. But every time I see that, I you know, or the first time especially, I thought maybe it was actually Ghost Street support. And I was really hoping for that, but nah. It's like a level one pot of duality kind of thing. Another UA. Oh, there's one of our uh, familiars. Charmer deck. We're getting closer. Have Virtual World uh, Roshi uh, Lao Lao. There you go. <laughs> Brave Penguin. I like this card. That, that's kind of a funny card. Really cool to see a couple of synchros right there. But I really want to get Arc Rebellion. I believe that's his name instead of Dark Rebellion. Another Raid Raptor. Infernity, yeah, they got new support too. Then there's Armatile. Now this is another one I was excited about. I got the ultimate rare one from a Japanese opening. If you guys check that out, it's been, what, a month or something ago? Uh, yeah, I was really wanting this in English. So it is Armatile, the Chaos Phantasm, uh, Phantom of Fury. It is a very scary card. It looks amazing too. It's a Sacred Beast fused together. That actually looks cooler than Armatile. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that was possible either. It's really neat. It's a shame that we don't get it as an ultimate rare as well, you know, because that would look amazing. But that's one of the ones I wanted just because. 
Let me know down in those comments too if I happen to get some really good cards from this set because this isn't going to be my only box, obviously. I should get a couple more tomorrow. Um, what should I build or upgrade or like update or whatever? Let me know. Have a UA Hyper Stadium. There's the new field spell for them. Another Infernity. But let me know on that. I thought about doing an upgrade to my Infernoble Knights because they got a little support. And my build changed anyway because of the ban list. So, other than that, I don't really know what I should build. Yeah, well, speak of the devil, there's our Infernoble Knight. It is Captain Oliver. I couldn't remember if he was going to be a common or what for us. I think he was a common for Japan. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad he's a hollow. I kind of wish that other one would have been a hollow too for us. The other Infernoble Knight that we have, the other uh, Synchro. There we go, though. I think I only needed one. <laughs> So there's everything I need for that deck profile. We could probably do that this weekend or something. I don't know. More mutants. Have a virtual world dragon, Long Long. <laughs> Fun name to say. <laughs> they do look interesting though. I forget their, uh, I forget their actual like Japanese names, what they were. Raid Raptor. And we have dual uh, avatar fleet to uh, Kokoyu. Kokoyu? I'm gonna go with that. That's that new fusion archetype. Hadn't seen any of those yet, really, I don't think. Another UA. Then Prank Kids Meow Meow Moo. Meow Meow Moo, I guess I say that. Uh, yeah, that's actually, I've heard a pretty good card for Prank Kids, by the way. It's a good Link Monster for them. I kind of like that there's a cat, too. I I'm a cat guy, so. <laughs> I, I like the artwork and everything. I, I really like them. And I've always heard good things about Prank Kids. They're pretty fun. Maybe I should do some kind of deck with them. I think I have everything, because I always saved everything for them. So they always seem interesting. And another uh, Ultra for us. This one is uh, Mutant to M05. I guess that's how you would technically say it, or just M5. Uh, but yeah, there's another one of those cards. Again, I've heard good things, but I hadn't really used them myself. So I don't really have my own opinion yet. They kind of remind me of sub tiers, though. I know they have a lot of high-level, like, strong monsters. So seems, again, seems interesting. Another dual Avatar, Infernity... And we have Virtual World Beast, uh, Jui Jui? Is that, uh, is that how you pronounce it? Jui Jui? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with both of those. Whichever one sounds better, go with that, right? That's the one you heard me say. <laughs> Whatever, if, if either of those was correct. Let's see, another one of that. I think that's like supposed to be a baby of that, uh, Synchro Monster, right? That Sea Serpent Synchro Monster we got, and I think Eternity Code. Have Rock Band, uh, Xeno Guitar. Oh, he looks pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, I think that's supposed to be like the baby version of it. There, they at least look a lot alike. Another Raid Raptor, of course. And, oh! Oh man, <laughs> there we go! Uh, this card is stupid, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got one! Oh man, this is Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder. Yeah, this is an insane one. For a second, I thought I had the Starlight, too, and I would have thrown up, because that's just amazing. <laughs> but, yeah, um, this card, it looks like it's tough to summon, because what is it again? Yeah, it's uh, two level 12s to XC into it, but basically, it's like any XC can turn into this. So, this is, like, support for basically any deck that can XC summon, which is pretty much all of them, <laughs> and, you know, in most cases. So, uh, yeah, this is actually a really stupid card. That's why I'm saying that. It is very good, and, uh... <laughs> I'm looking forward to using it, not looking forward to going against it. It's one of those things, you know? So, there we go. I think that is one of the better Seeker Ears, though. It's one of the main ones I wanted. I mean, also, he looks like some kind of Gundam as well, so that's kind of a, a, a plus <laughs> for it. Not only is he a good card, he looks awesome. I'm going to sleep, by the way, if you're wondering. But, uh, that is sick. There we go. I saw one of my friends got one, too. Uh, he actually had a sneak preview where he lived. They actually had some stuff going on there, but I was hoping I'd get one, because I had a feeling that would be phew, one of those where you buy a case, you only get one. I don't even know the ratios of it, but I figured it'd be a pain. Uh, another mutant, mutant synth synthesis. Blech, can't talk now. Got too excited. 
But yeah, I think both our secret rares are good. I'm happy with them. I'm pretty sure that's a good Triver Gate, and I wanted that XC for myself. I still have the Ghost Rare one because it was a Ghost Rare for Japan, so. I have Raid Raptor, uh, yeah, Strangle Lanius. I was about to say, I was looking through the camera, I was like, I can't read that. I'd love to build Raid Raptors. Because I think I have everything for them, besides the new cards, of course. We'll have to see. And, oh, wow, really? <laughs> That's cool, I'll take it, but I, it's been a while since an actual box I got in a double. That, that's usually rare. It's like special edition. That happens all the time. Uh, actual box though? Huh. That is really weird. We got another one of Armitile. I'll, I'll take it. Again, I think it's a cool card. I, I don't think he's expensive by any means, but I don't care. I mean, I'll take him. <laughs> Again, the only thing I have a complaint on is I wish he was ultimate rare for us. He just looks cooler. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take another one, I guess. I, I wonder if that means this is a weird box. Maybe there's still a chance for another secret rare? Oh, I like boxes that are like that where you can't really tell what you're going to get. I like randomness. Which can also hurt me sometimes. Have Virtual World City uh, Kualoon. I'm going to go with that. Also, I do plan to build a deck with Charmers too when that structure deck comes out. They're still a little ways away? I don't know. I think it might be a couple weeks. I'm lost now because since it was supposed to be last month... I don't remember the exact release date. I know Maximum Gold's next week. Have Mutant Arsenal. But let me know if you'd like to see a Charmer deck profile. One of my friends I know definitely want me to because he loves Charmers. So I might get his help. <laughs> he knows how to play them. He's been playing them before the structure deck and all that. So I might ask for some advice <laughs> for sure. Eternity UA. And, oh, finally, I think it's like the first fusion we've gotten for this archetype. Dual Avatar Fist, uh, Armored, uh, I go it? I, yo? I don't know how <laughs> you say that. I think it's like a G and yo. That's, that's a tough one. We have a lot of, like, I guess Chinese names or something, because I'm having a hard time pronouncing a few of these. Although it doesn't surprise anyone, <laughs> I'll be honest. And Raid Raptors Phantom Knight's Claw. I do think it's kind of cool Raid Raptors and Phantom Knights are together in this set. But I don't like it too because, again, I know the Phantom Knights have a lot of secret ears. And I don't want to have to hunt those down. Even though I would build them if I had them. But, ugh. <laughs> I don't want to hunt them all down. That's going to be such a pain. And expensive. Have Dual Avatar Fists, uh... Yui? Yui? Something like that. Another dual avatar. So there you go. The main dude, basically. What are we at? Okay, we still have two packs left. I think we'll probably have another ultra rare. I honestly don't know. This has been a weird one. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe we have another secret rare, even. Okay, there's another ultra rare for us. Okay, I feel a little bit better now, too. I was hoping I'd at least get... The usual ratios. Uh, we have Tri-Brigade uh, Frank Tall. I don't know if he's one of the better ones to get or not. I'll be honest. I have no clue. I'll check later. I'm sure I'll have prices on the screen too. But remember, the set just came out, so the prices are going to change. They're going to fluctuate. Some might go up. Some might go down. That, that's kind of part of it. That's why I don't always do prices in my videos. Because that info in about a week can always be drastically different. And last pack. Okay, what can we get? We could actually get something. I mean, it has been a weird box. Let's see. Help me out, you guys. Hit that like button and all that. Like I said, it helps out with that algorithm, too. YouTube algorithm doesn't really like me these days. All the curse words, I say. <laughs> and, ah, uh, we, we got at least a, a cool super rare, though. It is dual avatar uh, feet armored Ungyo. I'm going to go with that. But at least another one of the dual avatar cards, one of their fusions, too. So they look interesting. Tell me if you guys, have you tried them out? Are they good? Uh, I always just like the way they looked, but... I, I know nothing about them, honestly, so let me know. Should I try them out? Should Because I think everything's cheap for them. 
But yeah, there you go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I think I did really well with my secrets. Again, not knowing the prices off the top of my head, I feel like I did good. I hope so. But I know I got Zeus, so that's good for me. That's definitely good. So uh, thank you to Konami. And uh, yeah, this definitely made my week. And I can't wait because tomorrow I should get a couple more boxes. We'll probably have like a double unboxing tomorrow. And like I said, maybe this weekend we can do some net profiles or something different. Let me know. What should I build? Probably do it in for Noble Knights because literally I got the one card I needed. And um, if you have any other requests or just opening requests or whatever, let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate you. And stay safe out there, you guys. And don't let this crap stress you out either. It's, I'm trying not to let it stress me, but uh, <laughs> I'm so tired of this election, I gotta say. So be strong. It's almost over, I hope. <laughs> and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.